I saw the price 560 something. I said, oh, What's going on? So I quickly rushed to, to the NMPC. I saw a lot of key on NMPC. And lately, I've been seeing a, an update of people converting their car to uh, compressed natural gas. Please, anybody that has that plug, please share information in the comment section. I'm really looking for that. Hello YouTube, what's happening everybody? Hope you guys are good. You guys are welcome to another video. And in today's video, I want to be sharing an update on what is currently going on in the country Nigeria and how it's affecting rideshare gig drivers and the economy at large. And then just throw out some little few points to you know help to help drivers if you drive full time or part time. Uh, what you can do to like cushion the effects because i know it's a very tough time right now um seeing a lot of people complain about them you know, being depressed and all so guys stay tuned into this video let's just you know talk about some of the happening issues so welcome guys this is the driverpreneur channel and, and in this channel i share my experience you know doing ride sharing in the city of lagos you know with the intent to help you know, newbies that want to venture into ride sharing and all this kind of stuff uh, i'm also a serial entrepreneur i try all that things to try to make money and you know eventually get financial freedom so you are welcome to subscribe if you haven't subscribed my youtube analytics shows that we have a large number of people watching this video without hitting on that subscribe button please just take one second to hit on the subscribe button it's totally free to do so and that helps this channel grow uh, with that being said yeah, so yesterday I was I was out. I went out in the morning. Uh, I had a early morning pickup at about six thirty, and so I went for that pickup. And although that pickup didn't happen, I had just little fuel in my car enough to just take me probably to like Lekki and probably back. I eventually got a trip going to uh, Bagadas and um, Ibubi in Shumulu. I went on that trip, then I eventually got a trip to the island. You know when i got to the island i started noticing that some of the filling station i know they are priced to be um 400 and 486 naira suddenly changed their prices to 500 naira that morning i was like ah what's going on okay let me chill i'll buy an nnpc when i get anywhere close to nnpc because nnpc sells at 488 yeah, so that was how I, I didn't buy for it from those those vendors selling at 500 I decided to go to the island so I'm getting to the island after dropping off I said okay let me go and top my floor I went to a, a total I saw the price 560 something I said oh, what's going on so I quickly rushed to, to the NMPC I saw a lot of key on NMPC I didn't check the meter I said okay there's another one in front I went there the same thing queue okay I said let me join this queue while I was in the queue, I just raised my head. Let me even check how much these guys are selling. NPC, NPC. Let me. I just saw the price, five hundred and sixty-eight naira. I was like, wow, when did this happen? You know, even with that price, I didn't even get access to get that for. I had to go and check another filling station, NPC, which I now I was able to enter and buy for. So since I was already out that morning, I was like, okay, since I'm out, and then Uber is running a promotion to drive nine trips and get four thousand five hundred. Okay, let me just do knockabouts and probably make this four thousand five, you know at that price i bought i actually bought nine thousand naira for because that was the only cash i had and they were not collect accepting transfer that nine thousand naira if you see the place where the, the the if you see where the gauge got to like the the, the, the increments in the gauge was almost insignificant but although my car is a very low um, capacity car the engine is quite small and fuel efficiency is quite high uh, so i say okay let me just manage it and just complete that nine trips before going home it wasn't exactly easy completing the nine trips. We all know that recently the, the, the ride sharing request has a bit has gone down a bit based on the cost of the transportation. You know. So I was able to at least make back the money I did for fall and the, I paid off Uber their my debt I was owing Uber, then came home with just some little change, you know, at least to sort some few demands this morning. So it's just crazy, like it's it's just it's alarming. The current cost of things right now is alarming. I uh, today is Wednesday and I had to park my car. There's no need for me to go out. The price of oil has gone up within the space of uh, I remember when it went up the last time. I advise everybody to stay home till a review is done on the ride sharing app pricing. 
you know so that's exactly what i'm waiting for because i can't just free for my car then go out to make the exact money i make from to buy for it doesn't make sense and then need to change on it so for now i'm off the road i'll be, I'll be hoping they review the price upward again so at least we can break even and make a little bit of a little bit of profit which is at the end of the day not exactly profit because when these cars start calling for demand of repair it can be very crazy for now i just advise that if you drive ride sharing full time or part time it is currently not worth it with this current price of almost 600 naira per liter so just keep your car in the house engage yourself in other things yeah mention this i've mentioned this in the past there are tons of youtube um, ideas you can you know venture into if you do ride sharing geek or whichever thing you do you can just start sharing your craft online you know before you know it you've gotten the numbers and you're monetized so for now just you, know, you have to stay on the road because it's not even worth the risk when you talk of the return on investment the return on buying the fuel when you, it doesn't make sense so guys just park your car and chill for now um, the last increment was fair. The last increment they did after it was in, before it was increased to 500 was a bit fair. At least you can see, you know, sort some things at home. But now it's, it's just totally crazy. And, and that little percentage, because it's, it's about, um, if you calculate it, about 15% that was added could have, a, could, could have a very huge impact in the, in, in, in the outcome of what you get as a ride share driver. So I look forward to seeing ride sharing up at least add if it's 15 to 20 percent increments in the fares, so we can we as drivers can also break even. So first thing you need to park your car for now. I advise you, but it depends on your circumstance. Not everybody can afford to park their car as we speak. We still have some drivers on the road, but the best thing to do right now is to just you know have your car chilling at home and engage in other things. Think of other things. Think of other services you can render or you know keep brushing your your skills so that you can be employed you know or you know offer gig services there are a lot of things people are doing online with upwork and the likes you know on uh, rendering graphic design services um video editing you know and some other skills you can you know google and check some of these things that you can you know venture into because recently because of all these problems um there's this whatsapp group where drivers um, communicate and they have been a lot of drivers have been complaining that you know some of them are feeling very depressed some are even talking to the extent they're even almost committing suicide uh please do not think towards that direction you can't you can't afford to give up just keep striving and i believe things will get better you know please do not get to that extent of you know committing suicide like i was surprised when one guy was giving a story on um, whatsapp that he not him and his wife were kicked out from their house because they couldn't make, you know, renew their rent and then this is really making him feel like going out of his mind so i just believe all these things will pass they said not every situation lasts forever and, and i hope that we'll be able to see ourselves come out from this great distress so for now i'm home and you know hoping to see a, a message from uber that okay the prices have increased but though there's another side to it, once the prices increase, expect a decline in a further decline in the 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 the, the requests. I mean, the demand for retail services. A lot of people are seeking alternatives. The economy is shrinking in terms of in terms of any potentials when compared to the cost of livelihood. So I, I don't I don't know, man. God will just see us through. I hope and I pray that God gives each and every one of us ideas, you know, to make money that's sufficient for us and our families you can share your own experience with as regards this world hike this world price hike and lately i've been seeing a an update on people converting their car to uh, compressed natural gas please anybody that has that plug please share information in the comment section i'm really looking for that because i saw the post somebody made that post where they converted a car to compressed natural gas but the person never gave contact of who did it or where it can be done please anybody that has such information please share it in the comment section i wouldn't mind to convert my car although there's a there's a there's a downside to it to it for right share drivers that drive almost almost round the clock if there's a risk to it compressed natural gas doesn't like you know very hot weather like when everywhere is so hot you know and then that's 
movements, you know, the guards being unstable from the gallops and, you know, moving on the road. I've seen videos where some of them exploded while in the vehicle, you know. So, but I wouldn't mind giving it a try. At least, if, if I can have uh, compressed natural gas and I decide to drive maybe just in the morning before the, the sun, that's that 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 sun, they come out. Before that time, I may park my car and probably just drive again in the evening. Let me try. I don't mind trying it, although the risks are there. But if you can manage the risk, then I think we are good to go. So if you have a contact like that, please so share in the comment section. If there's, there's, uh, please feel free to share in the comment section. That's it. So that's the kind of system we are currently running here. Like where things are just going so expensive, and people are crying. Citizens are people are the Nigerians are crying right now. I think this is the. The worst we've had like this is this i don't think it can get worse than this like for real i don't think it can get worse than this so guys that is it so that's what we are currently facing in the country let's know what you think in the comment section and please everybody stay strong please do not go depressed try to talk to family and friends go out in the morning enjoy the night the, the early morning sun and if money not in your pockets just still have that belief that it's going to be possible and we are all going to be fine in the long run. So guys, until next time, peace and stay safe.